think that we have been extremely successful in the last 20 years at discovering mechanisms, at starting to develop uh, efforts to translate those mechanisms, but when you look at the actual magnitude of effect of interventions, it's really not that impressive. Um, and this is just a list of, of probably the most common interventions that people think about, non-genetic interventions um, in laboratory animals today. And what's indicated here is that the largest magnitude of effect for lifespan is an intervention that was first published 80 years ago, right? Almost 90 years ago. Um, and actually, the longest lifespan extension from a non-genetic intervention that I know of is this experiment from Rick uh, Weindrick and Roy Walford that was done in the 1980s, and that's the 65% caloric restriction. And then when you look at the pharmacological interventions that we're studying, you know, by and large today, they're all substantially smaller. So rapamycin, of course, is the most robust and reproducible pharmacological intervention for targeting aging that we have today. It's my personal favorite. We're testing rapamycin in pet dogs right now in a clinical trial, but its efficacy is not as great as caloric restriction. It's not even close. And then when you look at the other interventions, they're not as effective as rapamycin, at least for lifespan. Um, so, so I feel like we need to get beyond this, right? There would be, um, it's important for the field not only to find new interventions, but to find particularly effective interventions.